So here it says the equation shown is used to find the force of gravity, F. So F is the force of gravity between two objects, where G is the gravitational constant, M1 and M2 are the masses of the two objects, and R is the distance between the two objects. So it's telling us what each of those variables are and what that equation is. So now it's saying which of these equations shows the distance between the two objects. So distance between the two objects. Oh yeah, the distance between the two objects is R. So they were asking us what is R. So after all of that, basically they want us to solve this equation for R. So right now it's telling us what F is. We need to move that R over there and move all the other letters, all those other variables to the other side. So right now R, it's R squared and we are dividing by R squared. If I want to move this dividing by R squared to undo dividing, I multiply. So I'm gonna multiply by R squared because R squared divided by R squared is one. That cancels it out. And if I'm gonna multiply by R squared there, I need to multiply by R squared here. So now we have R squared times F equals G, and then everything else stays the same, M1 and M2. Now I want R, R by itself, but there's it's being multiplied by F. So let's move that F to undo multiplying, I do the opposite of multiplying, which is to divide. So let's divide by F, because F divided by F is one, so that cancels out. So we have R squared equals G M1 M2, all that divided by F. Now R is almost by itself, but it's being squared. So you have to remember the opposite of squaring something is square root. So I'm gonna take the square root. So what I end up with, the opposite of squaring is square root, so that cancels it out. I end up with R equals the square root of G M1 M2 divided by F. So the answer is B.